All right, in this video, I'll share with you how disturbing, uh, you know, the reality of privacy and security is online, okay? And um, how if someone really wants to cheat you, um, you know, uh, unless, of course, you are two steps ahead or ten steps ahead, um, you will eventually get cheated. I'll share with you a real-life story. And this incident happened just a few hours ago, okay? As you know that I have um, these WhatsApp groups which I guard kind of safely. Uh, they, there are core groups, there are restricted groups um, which only either people I know or my clients, you know, some are investors, some are for adults, whatever. So these groups, I have made up my mind. I had made up my mind some time ago only known people will join these groups, not unknown people. Okay. So over the years, I've managed to keep it that way. And once in a while, I do advertise online where, uh, you know, I create new groups. Sometimes people like to give their details. Sometimes they don't. So I created a group which was for job seekers. I've created various groups where people didn't need to identify who they were. They could just join. Some were just open it's kind of like an open mic night or uh, you know you can just uh, join and say whatever you wish to say but the problem with uh, these groups is when you open it to the public and anyone can join and they don't need to verify who they are they can live within the four walls of their anonymity they tend to sometimes cross the line they cross the line with a lot of comments a lot of uh, shares which are sometimes uh, it can even have uh, criminal intent okay you, you can even get into serious trouble there have been before people who have tried to sell illegal substances then people because they are anonymous they say they share porn which is unacceptable then um, um, there have been some of them who you know, I have members who are even some who are women. These guys join and just within a few seconds of joining, they send, start sending explicit or sexual messages to these female members. So I've been very particular whom can join. And if I feel that you are a threat or you are a danger, I remove them off. Okay. So lately there has been this uh, group which I created for resumes. Resumes, getting jobs, job seekers. And initially, there were quite a number of them who joined and there were students. But as time went on, then obviously you also get, you know, when you have a large group of people, you'll also get some idiots. So now when people want to join, I, I make it very clear. Um, if you want to join, I need to know who it is. Okay. There are some people who are comfortable giving their details. There are some others who you know, keep saying, oh, you, I don't, I can't give it to you. Who are you? You might uh, take my data. You can sell it to uh, data collection agencies. Um, I mean, you're 20 year old or you're 30 year old. Uh, you're living in some bloody village. What am I going to profit from your data? And who am I going to sell it for? For five bucks, one buck. Uh, it's hardly some 200, 300 members. Like, what, yeah, am I going to sell for one dollar a name or something? And what are they going to know? Oh, your name is some Ramesh, you stay in a village, and you're a college student. What are they going to do? So anyway, so uh, people are hesitant. Uh, even though they, are, they have not accomplished anything in life, their net worth is zero. They still, oh, my privacy, my data, fine, fine. It's, it's you. Maybe you feel that somebody is going to use your photograph or somebody is going to use your likeness to maybe rob a bank or something. I don't know what you're worried about. Okay. But now, there has there started a new very disturbing trend. And this, like I told you, happened a few hours ago. This guy, he sends me a message. Hi, I would like to join one of your groups. So, obviously, I send him the message. Uh, name, age, what you do, where you from, everything. No sooner I send that, he, almost immediately, immediately he sent me the details. It's a female, whatever. He sent me the resume, her resume. 
and uh, he sent me her passport details. Everything within a few seconds of asking, few minutes or whatever. As soon as I saw that, you know, maybe because I have years of experience or whatever, I knew for a fact it is not his. This is a guy. This is not a girl. I know how a guy talks. I know how a female talks, uh, chats. And I knew for a fact this is not a female. This is a male. And I knew that this is not his details. And um, the person kept uh, saying, okay, now I've given you my details. Uh, uh, I'd like to join. I didn't say anything. And then after some time, I guess the person found out or realized, okay, I think he has managed to see through it. So he said, uh, this is my fiance. This is my fiance. This is the girl I'm in love with. Okay. I want her to get a job. So I replied, ask her to get in touch with me. And then there was sudden silence. Now, let's assume that he gets, you know, a f someone who will act like a female to get in touch with me. Now, if I want, I can keep dragging it. I can say, come on the video, uh, like put your video on, let me talk to you so as to verify it is you and you'll hold the passport this way. I can do that. And then obviously there is very less chance you can fake that. Even AI generated image, unless you have the resources, you can't uh, put someone else's, like you can't put uh, Obama and having Obama's passport, for example. So I can do that. But then the question begets, if someone really wants to do harm, if someone is really a scammer, they can, you know, go all out of the way and I cannot see through them. For example, if let's say one of the groups which are scammers, there are groups from India, there are groups from Pakistan, and we have seen these videos on YouTube where they have call centers where they will pretend to be someone else. They'll put on an accent. It's a company, full company, and there's an actual person there. So you can even show your face. Let's say, for example, this happened to me around, uh, now I'm 47, uh, 35, 12 years ago. When I was in Dubai, this female appears, puts the camera on. She is from Turkey. Okay, she's the camera's position near a bed. And she's chatting with me, actual chatting. Like, hi, how are you? And she goes like this and, and she's chatting. Next thing you know, she's showing me her cleavage. She's showing me, you know, you want to see more, you know. And I'm actually interacting with her. I said, okay, prove it to me, Oriel. Unbutton one more. And she said, okay, fine, watch. And she unbuttons one more. So now in this case, this is not open AI. This is not a generated image. This is an actual person and she's, she can even talk. So then what do you do? Tell me. Then what do you do? So what I'm trying to make you understand is if someone is determined, if someone is truly determined to cheat you, to con you, to cheat the system, um, the person is has bad intentions, you cannot stop them. Okay, lucky for me, these are just harmless little groups. What is the maximum uh, that pe a person can do? Join the group, take other people's uh, numbers which are there, send them the, some marketing material or chat with them or ask them, are you looking out for a job and trying to, you know, con them. They're very small little fraud, this thing. And uh, if people are really stupid, uh, I mean, they will send them emails and they click on this, you won 1 million or 10 million or whatever. I get, I get plenty of those emails, which is hardcore filtered. So it, I, it never appears before me. Um, people have asked me for sponsorship. Uh, no, means they will give me sponsorship. And some of them are legit, but legit fraud. Okay. Advertise this cryptocurrency, advertise this product, advertise this website. They're doing shady stuff, but they'll pay me the money in advance. I just have to lead people there, which I don't want to do. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make here is if someone really wants to hurt, harm, or destroy you or do bad things to you, um, you cannot stop them. They will never give up. Okay. But that doesn't mean we put our guard down. That doesn't mean we say, okay, since there are so many fraudsters, I give up. You still have to maintain certain degree of alertness, smartness, protocol. That is why even though, even though this guy sent me uh, the female's passport, 
he sent me all the details cv whatever i knew for a fact it's fake now even if let's say he asks this girl to get in touch with me i'm not going to make it easy on them okay um uh, because i have my reasons i have i'm very clear on why i have these groups so all i want to tell you through this video is be careful be careful because um today nowadays online i mean the risks are never ending so just take two three steps be smart and alert one final thing i'll give one final thing um there was this email that i got from <laughs> there's this email that i got from the legit software that i'm using it's a legit company and i'm their vip customer and they said uh, actual link huh? they said we are planning to upgrade the services whatever i found it suspicious because out of all the years that i've been using their it's a very expensive software um they never send me an email so what i did is it's from them only the email address is also from them i contact i didn't click on any link i went to their actual website i contacted uh, one of the senior managers who is allocated to me because i'm a premium customer and i asked them please ask one of your managers to get in touch with me i have questions so the manager got in touch okay because there's always someone or another 24/7 and i shared with them this email screenshot everything he said we will check we'll check and get back to you and then after they said uh, uh please hold don't click anything we need 24 hours after 24 hours uh, i got an email stating that yes this is a very legit email uh, however what surprised us is not all of us were informed about it and uh, he congratulated me and thanked me that i didn't click anything even though it was a legit link everything else i contacted him and i told him please next time make sure that you not only send me an email you send me on my mobile phone that has been allocated to your software so that and the person's name who i'm supposed to deal with so i will come to your website official website and i will speak and verify so perfectly calm cool composed unlike some other people who got this actually happened huh? uh the a bank uh, their customers received an email to click on the particular link and people clicked and it turned out to be a hacker who had hacked into their system and they withdrew money it was a massive scandal i don't want to talk about it so just be careful just be careful because like i told you if someone wants to cheat you fool you you can never stop them anyway i hope this video added value to you good bad ugly feel free comment down below this is me signing off you guys take care